somebody who has got two phones in the recorder the other one the other one is the one where it's coming from because it's difficult to record to record i'm a google meet because google meet it uses a, a speaker for recording so you can't you, you can't apply any other app so if you have got two record the message now you follow me properly tonight to this morning sorry ah okay now listen children of god today we are going to be dealing with the spirit of death today we are going to be studying it to be dealing with the spirit of death now when i talk about the spirit of death i know you're you're probably seeing some somebody dying yeah but death is more wider than that when we are talking of dealing with the spirit of death death is more wider many people don't know that death is more wider than that so we'll be dealing with the spirit of death so today i'm going to reach somewhere i'll give you prayer points of new prayer points that will begin if the lord will give me a prophetic word it will flow like that but just this teaching in itself i'm teaching because i've been allowed to do this amen there are many things that god teaches me but he allows me from where to get and to teach god's people i don't just teach because i teach when god says okay do this now it's time i need to deal to deal with this it's time now the spirit of death many people many people think the spirit of death is a demon <laughs> many people think the spirit of death is a demon many people think that the spirit of death is is satan no the spirit of death is in two i'm establishing today the spirit of death is in two there is the one that the death that is caused by satan or a demon where a demon can attack somebody shot an arrow then that arrow goes on on an organ the person dies or or they can cause sickness and you die god forbid you're not going to die i'm just giving an example somebody can be shot then the person dies amen then there is now the original thing that i call there is now what the bible calls the spirit of death now the, this spirit of death is very wide <laughs> it's very wide now i'm going to remove certain statements then i'll go into the scriptures the spirit of death is one of the kings one of the kings one of the spirits that were given dominion they were given rulership they were given a palace to rule they are giving the ruling power <laughs> they were the spirit of death was given power by god i'm coming to that don't worry now many people for oh, until somebody dies that's when they not this one has got the spirit of death no the spirit of death can be ruling and can be there in your life and yet you are still alive <laughs> the spirit of death can be in the family and yet people as nobody's died nobody has died the spirit of death now listen the spirit of death was created by god and the spirit of death was given the power was given the crown just like man when he was created he was also given dominion even the spirit of death was one of the spirits that was given the dominion the rule the power the spirit of death is a being there are certain witch doctors and certain witches and certain certain groups of people that may be some people don't know that they have covenants with the spirit of death 
So it is, you see, it is not only Satan when this world ends that is going to be found with a case to answer. One of the spirits that will be found with a case to answer by God it will be death. Because there are people that have got covenants with the spirit of there is some witchcraft that that operates by the spirit of death, meaning that the spirit of death is their God. I'm getting somewhere, don't get lost. Now, this spirit of death, when it is in a family, one of the things that happen is that there is no, no fruitfulness. This is why you find people are barren. This is why you find whatever you do, a plan does not is not fruitful, does not produce anything. This is where somebody you can see they have lived for so many years, but there is no production, nothing to show. Uh -huh. Now we are, we are now getting somewhere now. We have started now understanding now each other now. The spirit of death, when it's in the family, in the family of a person, the person can be alive, but he may not be able to produce anything. Anything you, the, the, that family starts or that person starts, it starts, it dies. It can't be produced going forward. I'm going to show you the scriptures. That's why I, that's why I told people that were there, they wake up people, wake them up, because if they miss this, they're not going to understand. Now, the spirit of death is one of the things that causes stroke. Some diabetes. Some when the progress. Now, the spirit of death is one of the things that causes stroke. Some diabetes. Some when the progress begins, a certain disease that causes you not to be productive will come in so that you do not you are, you are unable to fulfill fruitfulness and production i'm coming we're driving somewhere this morning most of the times when you hear somebody says he wants to sacrifice his father he wants to sacrifice his mother or you hear somebody saying they are demanding for blood or they are demanding for a soul somebody to die on a family in order for somebody to be rich they are they are using a system of the spirit of death. It's where the spirit of death tells them to say, if you bring a person, huh? if you successfully enchant or kill the person, whatever you do, start working. Because the spirit of death, when it sits on a business, a business cannot progress. There will be there will be no fruitfulness. You have heard of people that at Ali Firamutulo. Somebody just sleeps peacefully and they just die just like that. So during the time when they slept, you don't know what there for them to die, there is something that they encountered that took them. Okay, now I understand what she means now. Let me now begin now to review from the scriptures now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Sometimes this spirit of death when... The spirit of death, it has a presence. And when the presence of the spirit of death comes, it doesn't take anybody to die. Somebody doesn't need to die. That's the presence it being. If it's on your land, your land will never eat at your place of work. You will never do something substantial with your man. If it is, if it is, uh, what can I say? If that spirit of death is in you, on on your marriage, there will be no life on that marriage. Okay, so let's jump into scripture so that now we start now dealing with certain things. Now the reason why I'm giving you this knowledge is because the Lord wants you to have dominion, authority over this, this spirit. 
because the only way you overcome this spirit is to be to have dominion over it now this is one of the most difficult enemies this is one of the most difficult enemies the spirit this spirit of death i'm talking about it's not a demon it's not satan it when god was creating when god was giving authorities and power one of the things he gave four spirits to act as judges to act as the kings that operate on the in the earth realm one of them among the four is the spirit of death now the other three if the lord allows me i'll be able to teach you but today let's stick on the spirit of death so there are people a musician can go to a witch doctor and they make a covenant with the spirit of death that person if you see they may become very popular and they will die young ah the story that story let's not talk about it in zambia okay let's go to the scriptures now <laughs> because that spirit it has the power to rule it has dominion it doesn't just kill life it kills fruitfulness it kills multiplication when that spirit of death is in your finances you there are certain money that you never handle when that spirit of death is in your family there is just certain uh limits of success you, you can't attain as a family Either at the moment one of you in the family starts 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 becoming successful they die every good person that started helping the family very much when they reach that level they die uh-huh you can relate let's let's now start begin to go into the scriptures now that's the death i'm talking about here that is not satan because that death is not even satan it's not even satan that one satan is a different thing is a different foreign angel this one is not an angel again it's not a foreign angel it's called the spirit of death now this spirit it has got a world some of the people that died there are some of you that when you begin to dream your dead mother your dead your dead shan shan they begin to come to you and say my daughter let's go or my son let's go those people are coming from a world that is ruled by the, this spirit of death Okay so there is somebody when they die they will go to heaven and there are some that have had covenant with this spirit when they die they don't go to heaven they go to this place most especially is people that were in witchcraft people that had certain covenants when they die they don't exist to heaven they go to a world called the land of the dead <laughs> if you have heard some of you the land of the dead okay it is a realm in the spirit that is ruled by death now when that spirit of death is in your marriage what comes the end of the dead <laughs> if you have heard some of you the land of the dead okay it is a realm in the spirit that is ruled by death now when that spirit of death is in your marriage what comes there's a realm of death that comes around you that things whatever you do you work for it has to die i told you i said we i want you the beginner said we are dealing with something hallelujah somebody <laughs> this spirit likes to work most of the times with ancestors i want to back the mama family There are some of us who are coming from a family where our grandfather was very wealthy and then wealthy died with him so there are some who sell their ears if you have heard of selling their ears selling their ears what it means simply means is that they will they will prompt they, they will make a covenant and say wealthy i want to be very to be fruitful whatever i do to be successful but you spirit of death you have to take over 
you have to take over my generation or you have to to in my place you take my children or you take the children to come so that spirit of death is going to give them the power of death meaning that meaning that whatever that person will say in the mouth it will be able to happen i've seen such kind of uh where somebody you hear you hear some stories these fun fun stories of uh, uh certain say they say i can just think at, and the accident happen if there's nothing special that person is able to cause death through the covenant of the what we call the spirit of death so this is what takes of many good people innocent people now this spirit of death what makes it so difficult for for us people or for families is that it's not a demon it has it was given authority by god it's one of the spirits that 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 disobeys okay is one of the things that disobeyed god God gave it the power of death and it death was a punishment. Death was created that when people see they turn away from God. This spirit is going to take over and take charge. You see? But it also began to collide and make agreements with evil people to achieve the desire of evil people. Now when this spirit steps in your home or some of you that have it you are in trouble now i'm not here to scare you jesus is with us hallelujah <laughs> and we are going to come out of such zones in the name of jesus i'm saying we are going to come out of such zones in the name of Jesus. Yesterday, I didn't want to even to tell my So we are going to begin our reading from uh, Lord. Where should I start so that we understand? We follow it properly. Karoto brothers, take it back. Oh, let's wait. Okay, I am breaking. Okay, I'm breaking. My network is okay. My network is okay. I don't know why it's breaking. I don't know. Sakota bra asto venekataika. Melabro asto deketaika. In the name of Jesus, the Crota man they can not take. Sakob, Radisa. Ali and and the best they can. We've established that the spirit of death and fear. There are certain things you see in the family. Rosoto brata kalibada. Kelado kufrada gibai. So there are certain people that are. I want to show you. I'm, I'm looking at them. There are too many scriptures in my head, but I'm trying to look for 
which one we can start with so that you understand okay let's go to genesis chapter number three this is uh, we can start from verses 10 we are dealing with the spirit of death we are dealing with the spirit of death the power of death we are dealing with the spirit of death when you see when a covenant was made and this covenant is active on somebody's life nothing just works out not the others In the next 30 seconds. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, Paul. Where is, where is your mom? Where is your mom? Wake up your mom. Wake up your mom. Jackie, how are you? Jackie, how are you? Good morning. Okay. Okay, so she's she's listening, eh? Okay. Good morning, Jackie. How are you? Long time. I'm I'm I'm, I'm very fine. The Lord is protecting us. The Lord is protecting us. Now today I want us to deal with you see. I'll tell you the reason why I'm saying the Lord is protecting us. Good morning, Mr. K. Where is your lovely wife? Yes, long time. Mary. Okay. You're welcome, Mary. Okay, yes, long time. I didn't have bundles on Wednesday. May you have bundles in advance, Jesus' name. Sarakato brata di kata dali. Velado shi kaina malibesh teke la sove kaipa. Long time, long time, long time. Madam Utinta Mwemba, long time. Sekota branta kila kuvelepa. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, man of God. Thank you too, Madam Mary. Now, I requested you to to bring in people because this thing we are going to deal with tonight, to this morning, sorry. It's a very common thing. Now, like it is our culture here today. Uh, we first lay a foundation through re- 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 revealing the revelations. Hallelujah. Now, uh, many people, we, we desire miracles, we desire deliverance, we desire breakthrough. But one thing that we don't realize is that there is a way miracles happen, there is a way breakthrough happens. The Bible says the Lord does nothing except he reveals it to the servants and prophets. Now, when that talks about the Lord does nothing except he reveals it, huh? it doesn't just mean when I come to you, I say your name is Esther. I'm seeing there's somebody in your family. Your name is Esther, is your brother. So, 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 so then I declare something starts happening. That is, yes, another level of prophecy. There's another level of prophecy that God can begin a teaching. He can begin to teach you something. 
but that teaching he may be revealing something he may be revealing something to you so that he does something about it are people getting what i'm saying so prophecy sometimes can come as a teaching prophetic teaching that's why we we who are in the prophetic we don't just pick a topic and teach you sometimes the lord will give us a teaching that's a difference when you hear a prophet you hear somebody who's in the prophetic and those that are not in the prophetic people that are in the prophet we are given what you need to teach because it has to be prophetic any person can pick it can pick can pick something and start teaching you anybody can teach you a verse even somebody who is a drunkard can teach you can teach you a verse but there are those who teach from the presence of god god gives them what go and teach this my people because i want to do this this is one of the things that we do here so if if you're a person who is fast in a hurry wanting to get a breakthrough wanting to you may miss a lot of things because sometimes god the way he operates is not the usual way i mean the usual way i mean you may not even be located at okay so 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 you may just get an understanding and that understanding can open a world for you to, to take you to the life that you want hallelujah somebody thank you jesus so this morning i'll lay a foundation some of you that have got two phones you have got two phones you can be you put another one on record and another one is the one you put amen if you've got two phones more advanced with two phones i'm just joking you put one on record and the other one so that the other one can have can have the, the message so that you can help me you can send it through you can send it through on the group within me i can have it so that i can share with others you will suffer for eating now when god was mentioning these things you see it was not the lord it was not god trying to 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 punish him it was it was what took over adam and eve adam eve and the sin adam eve what took over adam eve and the serpent because when they ate that fruit today i'm going to review something when they ate that fruit there is there is something that had began to have that became more powerful than them that began to rule over them now let, let me show you what, what what this is the one which caused them to be good yeah for them for them to eat they suffer the struggle so much for adam to return to dust back to dust where he came from for adam for the ground to be cursed Amen. That casing is meaning is meaning that there will be no fruitfulness and multiplication for Adam. If it happens, he has to struggle for it. For a woman, there will be pains, labor pains. For a woman, it will be hard. Now, the reason why these things happen is because of something came. Now, Paul is going to I'm going to read I'm going to read Romans chapter 6. You are going to see what happened when they ate. It's not only the Satan, it's not only Satan that began to have dominion over them. There was other 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 created beings. Other created beings. One of them was death that began to have authority over them. Now, all these things when you look at them Satan, death and the other things I'll be able to read in other teachings. Adam used to be above them. But with the moment when he he sin sin became part of him when unrighteousness came part of him because he, when he, when sin became part of him God sin became part of him if a human being was not dying 
if a human being was not under the punishment of these spirits, or these spirits did not take over, a human being would have become very powerful and very destructive and never died and very evil. They could have not been, uh, what's this, going back to the dust. Now, there is certain power or dominion that came over a man that he began, he began to go, he began to live to become old. And after becoming old, you go back to the dust. Now, that process by which somebody begins to become old and goes back to the ba- da- dust is means is means that it is the power of death taking over the body of man. Ah, uh, we're getting this. something here. We're getting something here. Hallelujah, somebody. We're getting somewhere here. Je- now, the same Genesis three. Go to Genesis four. I want to show them what, what came over them. And I'll read, and I'm going to read what is in Romans. So most of the times, when the realm of the spirit of death is attacking you, or you find yourself in the dream, there is a realm of death, you're going to begin to see all the old people. Or when you begin to, to discover that you are found in a place of old people just know that those old people signifies the land of the dead the power of death we are getting some we are getting somewhere here <laughs> because in the realm of death that's where you find all the old ancestors all the old people this is what it meant when adam was dead to the dust that's where you came from so when this spirit of death began to to dominate and to rule over man, he, man was was put was put in the man was put under uh, becoming old and going back to the ground. That's the process of being old. You see that old you see on people when people become eight days they become old. They, it's that's the process of death. It's a process. It's a realm of death. That never used to be there when Adam before sinning. Uh huh. I'm saying things here now. Yes, verses four, five. What, what is this saying? Let me let's show them. Are people understanding what I'm saying this morning? So Genesis chapter four, verse five. The Bible reads, "But Cain and his offering, he had no respect." So. Cain- <laughs> The same chapter 3, verses 5. Genesis chapter 3, verse 5, the Bible reads, For God knows that on the day you ate from it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Okay, go to verses uh, 3. 3 reads, Except the fruit from the tree which is in the middle of the garden, God Okay, start from 2 so that people understand. Start from 2 so that people understand. 2 reads, As I'm talking, somebody right now, somebody is feeling like, he, I don't know if it's his stomach or the womb is pain. I... I speak life in the name of Jesus right now. As I'm talking about this, that's what you are feeling that is the manifestation of death. I speak in the name of Jesus. That death leaves you, the part of your body. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, verses 2. Verses 2 reads, And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat Fruit from mm-hmm. 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 you have gone somewhere. The verse two. Yes, Genesis chapter three, verse two. And the woman said to the serpent, "We may eat fruit from." Mm-hmm. 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 You have gone somewhere. The verse two. Yes, Genesis chapter three, verse two. Mm-hmm. It reads, "And the woman said to the serpent." We may eat fruit from the trees of the garden, except the fruit from the tree which is in the middle of the garden. God said, 
you shall not eat from it nor touch it otherwise you will die okay that's what god told them okay go to verses number one one read now the serpent was more crafty than any living creature of the field which the lord god had made and the serpent said to the woman can it really be that god has said you shall not eat from any tree of the garden two and the woman said okay, to okay just there go to chapter two the last two, two verses chapter two. i want where god the woman the scripture i've already found it but i want where god himself where where god was saying if you do not eat this tree if you eat it you will die when where god don't where, where the woman was saying because the woman added the lie there. so he said chapter two the last two verses um it reads then adam said this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh she shall be called woman because she was taken out of man for this reason a man shall leave his father and his mother <coughs> and shall be joined to his wife and sh- they shall become one flesh and the man and his wife were both naked and were not ashamed or embarrassed these are the last two verses okay okay this is this is two now so chapter two this is two it reads and by the seventh day god completed his work mm-hmm. had, uh three three two three two three one three two two yeah. Chapter 3, verse 2 reads, And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat from, from the trees of the garden, except fruit from the tree which is in the middle of the garden. God said, You shall not eat from it, nor touch it, otherwise you will die. Four. But okay. the... Just there. Just there. Just there. Okay, just there, just there. Okay, just there, just there, just there. Okay, so uh, this was the command that God gave him. Says, you people, if you are going to eat this, okay, go to Genesis two verse seventeen. Let's just pick it up from there. Two seventeen. So take note, children of God, of Genesis 3, verse 2, and, and take note the one she's going to read, Genesis 2, verse 17. Okay. So chapter 2, verse 17 reads, But only from the tree of knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. Otherwise, on the day that you eat from it, you shall most certainly die. Okay, when Adam and Eve ate from the tree of death, did they die physically? Did, did they die? I want answers down there in the place. Did when Adam and Eve ate the fruit, did they die there and there? Ethel says no, not immediately. Okay, no, no. Madam Eve says no, no. Okay, Jackie says no. Uh, Arus says no. Okay, others, what are you saying, others? Others, others, what are they saying? When they ate, did they die? Did they fall down after eating and die? <laughs> Paul says no. What are the others saying? Now, Mlala, people are sleeping on this platform. People, are you sleeping? Okay, okay. My own says the phone is shutting down. There's no power. Okay. What are others saying? Okay, no, it didn't die. Okay. 
Okay, others when Adam eat it. Okay, but those four says no. Okay, others, what are you saying? Elizabeth says no, he didn't die. Okay. Others, what are they saying? Are you sleeping? Mrengonga, probably new profile of you. What are they saying, others? Okay. Okay. Glory, I think our phone is what? Okay. And Ambrosi says they died spiritually. They actually died in every sense. They died in every sense. Actually, the death. The death. Uh, this is what I'm going to explain. Now. Okay. The spiritual side of it was just a small part of it. But something that was waste happened. Something that was... The reason why I'm teaching you this is not so that... The reason why I'm teaching you this is so that... Uh, <laughs> the reason why this is coming to you, it is not that... Uh, it is not that uh, again you may not see yourself or you stop dying if that can happen no oh, praise the lord but the reason why i'm bringing this to you the reason is simple the, there is a realm you see something happened that was worse than even the spirituality. When Adam sinned, when they ate the fruit, God told them, He says, You shall surely die. Now, when they ate the fruit, that's why Adam and Eve they became so stubborn because there are things God that He told them that they couldn't understand. So when you eat, you die. They didn't even know what death. dying what it means what happened when they ate adam and eve they lost the superiority over death they became subject in other ways they became uh, servants of death in other ways it was like this when death and adam met before he died death used to salute adam used to give respect to adam Death had its own world where man could not be there. He could not. In fact, death could, could, could fear to touch even a plant. Death was even afraid of man, respected. Man. I've told you the difference. There's a demon of death, and I'm telling you about this spirit of death. Man was even supervisor over death. Meaning that plants. This thing you see kuola plants, that's death. Death has come in the realm of man. That's what God told him that you shall surely die. The dying was was so that even the environment of man, things around Adam, they began to this is why today you see, you see that if you don't water the plant, the plant dies. Do you know why it dies? Because the realm of death, 
this also took over the creation also that realm of death that death authority never used to be there in fact in the garden of eden the way it was even if you don't before death came even if you don't water a plant a plant could not die even the sun if it shines on a plant a plant could not dry oh now people are getting me you are not getting what i'm saying a plant a plant in itself Even a plant itself, it can be hit by the sun and the plant will still be healthy and be producing. In fact, the earth itself, that's why that in those days of Adam, why? Because the earth, the, the ground in itself, one of the job of the earth was to water the plants. There used to be a time when the ground would start removing water itself. It could remove, it could water itself. Uh, that's why, the, as you are reading, there's a scripture that says, it says, and mists would come from the ground. Before even man came, Adam came. There, there was a mist that would cover the earth in the morning so have you seen in the morning when you wake up in the morning when you wake up now the way it used to be before death took over before the realm of death before death had dominion and power over man what used to happen was that dew or yes that dew used to be too much such that it would water the ground itself so the during the day, the, the, the plants would just receive the sun. There was no need for rain to for water to come from above. So, what one of the reasons why rain came in now was because of the when the realm of death came, and the realm of death came, the ground was cursed. That's why God told it says, "You family what? Death. because death has come. Eh? Because death has come, the ground is cursed for your sake now. You see." The, one of the cases that the ground could not remove water the way it used to remove. Production from the, even the earth, the duty that the earth would do became limited. That's why now the reservation, that's why rain now had to come. Even a plant itself, it can be hit by the sun and the plant will still be healthy and be producing. In fact, the earth itself, that's why that in those days of Adam, why? Because the earth, the, the ground in itself, one of the job of the earth was to water the plants. There used to be a time when the ground would start removing water itself. It could remove, it could water itself. Uh, that's why, the, as you are reading, there's a scripture that says, it says, and the mists would come from the ground. Before even man came, Adam came. There, there was a mist that would cover the earth in the morning. So, have you seen in the morning when you wake up? In the morning when you wake up, Mukau Kaksen, plants for the plants. Now, the way it used to be before death took over, before the realm of death, before death had dominion and power over man, what used to happen was that dew or yes, that dew used to be too much such that it would water the ground itself. So the, during the day, the, the, the plants would just receive the sun. There was no need for rain to for water to come from above. So what one of the reasons why rain came in now was because of the, when the realm of death came, and the realm of death came, the ground was cursed. That's why God told him, says, you, family what? Yes. Because death has come. Eh? Because death has come. The ground is cursed for your sake now, you see. The, one of the cases that the ground could not remove water the way it used to remove. Production from the, even the earth, the duty that the earth would do became limited. That's why now the reservation, that's why rain now had to come. Somebody... He, <laughs> That's what also Adam lost. So, 
when the realm of death comes is it on somebody's life or your in your life there is the death has got authority over you there are things around you that begin to die friendships begin to die relationships begin to die things that you are do- you see have you ever been there have you ever seen people whereby there is nothing alive about the person okay so as, as i'm talking about this is a question says how about outside the garden of eden did death have power outside that yes when immediately the earth the whole the whole earth <laughs> The whole is man's anywhere where man had dominion. You see, the garden was one thing that that we should understand is the garden was just a starting point of man's. The duty God planted the garden. The duty of man was to grow the development over the, all the earth. I think now you are seeing that. So. Outside the garden and inside the garden, it could be watered. Just that the garden was a place where seeds were supposed to, seeds of fruits, uh, certain things, animals, they were supposed to reproduce from the garden to go to the outermost world. I think you understand. It's a starting point of man. It was just a starting point. So Adam, you see, them they thought their duty was just to stay in the garden. It was not in the garden. Beginning. You see, it was just the beginning of the garden. Those trees were supposed to be around the whole earth. Those animals, as they were in the garden, they were supposed to start reproducing, giving birth to many of them to reproduce. That's why God, when he created, he told them, he says, be fruitful, number one. Number two, you tell, you tell them, multiply. Number three says, replenish the earth. To replenish means to fill the earth. So why, why when the zebras were in the Garden of Eden, when the lions were in the garden, they were supposed to produce children that are going to migrate from the Garden of Eden to go to outside to go and live somewhere. Again, the other animals were supposed to reproduce from the garden. The trees, man was, Adam was supposed to get the, the seeds to go and plant that other garden in other areas of the earth. Are we together this morning? So now, when when the, when man eats, it, God told him, says, when you eat, death, you shall surely die. In other words, when you eat, death is going to have dominion over you. You are going to, things around you, you are not, you are not going to be fighting against, you are now going to be struggling with you. when Adam sinned civilization development was delayed that's why you see it's because of death today you see because of death and because of because of sin this is why you see africa today is still from the time of adam up to death is still struggling man is just even today some other parts of the world are still struggling this earth you see used to be green everywhere plants nice plants everywhere nice flowers everywhere An organ in the body, Cherekosele. That's the manifestation of, of the power of death. I'll give you an example. When 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 I was when I was in my Nasoko and I had a I had a stock and the vein in me was uh to Kai vein, blood started bleeding. There by then all those things happened because death came now 
death was around him at another level. So death can be there for a different level. You see. And I, I remember I, I could I could actually die because sometimes when I could go, I would stop breathing, my eyes are gone. So it was just now death was now completely now just trying to take over the whole body and the the body goes back to dust. But death had already was already there in charge fully now. So a person can be talking like this, he's already gone. Death has already taken over, but the person is talking, he's walking. Muzana chape, those are cases where I find at Muntusha Bagwa, a guanche crossbow to your VP shot. No. What caused the VP to shoot and the person to fall was the was was the power of death activated in the body. Hallelujah, somebody. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. We've overcome. The Bible says, Jesus says, I have come that you might have life, life in abundance. Why are people very quiet? I'm not getting a man. I'm not getting what? <laughs> So now, what begins to happen in some families is this. There are certain laws and rules that are stipulated in the family. For example, like, uh, I'm going to... Sorry, man of God, I am so... Okay. I'll stay in the comment box. So... Sorry, man of God, I, I, I'm, I'm not able to remember Things. This is a land it used to be. Well, okay. okay. So, children of God, uh, uh, what I was saying is there are certain rules and laws in the family. We, uh, we call them evil ordinations. For example, somebody in the family, somebody can. Uh, yeah, maybe in your sisters there used to be polygamy. Maybe in, in the family they used to a person people never rise up to a certain level of success. And they knew you coming, you have got great ambitions, great things happening. And then that person starts pushing for things to work, to go outside Zambia to study greater things, things just greater than the ancestors that lived. So, you will find that that person will have success. And then in the point now where something, a big promotion happens, or in the point where something uh, great begins to happen, you just the person just discovers that he's got cancer or the person just discovers that he's got liver problem when a certain level if you have discovered so much these diseases are machanchan they don't just happen to somebody they happen they don't just happen to anybody they happen most of the times to people you know, I'll use the term machitik. Those people that are happening or we are trying to happen. You find the person has got everything and yet the person is sick. Or you find that somebody has got everything. That person doesn't have a child. You find that the person who have everything and yet has got a heart problem. See? Such situations, they are signs, they are signs of the 
presence or the power of the dominion of death in that family. It, it, it's a, it, it, it means that death is ruling in that family. Or sometimes we find just that somebody from the time when they were born until the time when they are old, they have never experienced what it means to be rich, what it means to be successful, despite working so hard. Some of them we find that working so hard such that when they now reach the, the level of now beginning to pick off to start at Awe, at Rolampes and Ashuk. You see? So sometimes, what, why did that limitation come at the point of success? The times of fruits that's been happening. Why? It is the dominion of death. It means that in the family there is a covenant of death. That has to be dealt with. There is a spirit of death that has to be brought to subjection. That has to be told, hey, behave. Hallelujah, somebody. There has to be a child of light that carries the light and is going to say, hey, can you stop this? But there will be pains, labor pains. For a woman, it will be hard. Now, the reason why these things happen is because of something came now paul is going to i'm going to read i'm going to read romans chapter 6 you are going to see what happened when they ate it's not only satan it's not only satan that began to have dominion over them there was other 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 created beings other created beings one of them was death that began to have authority over them now, all these things, when you look at them, Satan, death, and the other things I'll be able to review in other teachings, Adam used to be above them. But with the moment when he, he sinned, sin became part of him. When unrighteousness came part of him, because he, when, he, when sin became part of him, God, sin became part of him. If a human being was not dying, if a human being was not under the punishment of this spirit or this spirit did not take over a human being would have become very powerful and very destructive and never died and very evil they could have not been uh what's this going back to the dust now there is certain power or dominion that came over a man that he began he began to go he began to live to become old and after becoming old, you go back to the dust. Now, that process by which somebody begins to become old and goes back to the ba- da- dust is means, is means that it is the power of death taking over the body of man. Uh, I'm getting you something here. We're getting something here. Hallelujah, somebody. We're getting somewhere here. Je- now, the same Genesis 3, go to Genesis 4. I want to show them what, what came over them. And I'll read, and I'm going to read this, what is in Romans. So most of the times, when the realm of the spirit of death is attacking you, or you find yourself in the dream, there is a realm of death. You are going to begin to see all the old people. Or when you begin to, to discover that you are found in a place of old people just know that those old people signifies the land of the dead the power of death we are getting some we are getting somewhere here <laughs> because in the realm of death that's where you find all the old ancestors all the old people this is what it meant when adam was dead to the dust that's where you came from so when this spirit of death began to to dominate and to rule over man your man was was put was put in the man was put under uh becoming old and going back to the ground that's the process of being old you see that old you see on people when people become eight days they become old it's that's a process of death it's a process it's a realm of death that never used to be there when adam before sinning uh huh. I'm saying things here now. Yes, verses four, five. What, what is this saying? Let me let's show them. Are people understanding what I'm saying this morning? 
to Genesis chapter 4, verse 5, the Bible reads, But Cain and his offering, he had no respect. So Cain... The same chapter 3, verses 5. Uh, Genesis chapter 3, verse 5, the Bible reads, For God knows that on the day you ate from it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Okay, go to verse 3. 3 reads, Except the fruit from the tree which is in the middle of the garden god okay said, start from two so that people understand start from two so that people understand to read as i'm talking somebody right now somebody is feeling like uh, i don't know if it's the stomach or the womb is pain i i speak life in the name of jesus right now as i'm talking about this that's what you are feeling that is the manifestation of death I speak in the name of Jesus. That death leaves you, the part of your body. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, this is two. This is two reads. And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from. Oh, 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 oh. You have gone somewhere. The, this two. Yes, Genesis chapter 3, verse 2. It reads, And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees of the garden, except the fruit from the tree which is in the middle of the garden. God said, You shall not eat from it, nor touch it, otherwise you will die. Okay, that's what God told them. Okay, go to verses number one. <laughs> one reads, Now the serpent was more crafty than any living creature of the field, which the Lord God had made. And the serpent said to the woman, Can it really be that God has said, You shall not eat from any tree of the garden? Two, and the woman said okay. to... Okay, just there. Go to chapter two, the last two verses. Chapter two. I want to wear God. The woman, the scripture, I've already found it, but I want to wear God himself, where, where God was saying, if you do not eat this tree, if you eat it, you will die. When where God, not where, where the woman was saying, because the woman added the life here. So he said, chapter two, the last two verses. Yeah. Do you know how long? Do you know how long that problem of your marriages has been in your family? Do you know the covenant? Do you know how many ancestral spirits? Wants that to continue in your family line or in your name or in your village or in your do you know how many? So you raise the battle. We are out of time, we are out of time. We now begin to, to I'm, I'm begin to end up now. We'll come and continue. I've just laid the foundation this evening. I've just laid the foundation this evening. Whatever is dead in your life begins to receive life in the name of Jesus Christ. So the more you are saying, me, I want my children of marriage to be okay. Me, I want to be this. The more you are agitating, the more you are, you, you are pulling through a war that has been established. But I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bring fruitfulness to every dead marriage in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bring fruitfulness to your finances. May the Lord bring fruitfulness right now to every business you are doing. May the Lord bring fruitfulness upon your children in the name of Jesus. May life begin in abundance. May life begin in your life. May life begin in your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every plan I speak life. I speak life to it. In the name of Jesus, I speak life to it. In the name of Jesus, I speak life to it. (laughs) 
life, life, life in your business, life in your marriage, life in your career, life in your destiny, life in your business, life in everything you're doing. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are going to continue to declare life. Say, Lord, Lord, elevate me above the spirit of death. May you begin to be elevated. This is your prayer point. You say, Lord, elevate me above the spirit of death. Let life abundance in my life. Life and abundance in my life. Life and abundance in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I've laid the foundation. This evening, we will come and enjoy the rest of the other message. I know it may take me three sessions. But the Lord says, it is well, it is well, it is well, you're blessed. Jesus, the life is with you. May, when we come, I begin now to review, next, I'm going to review now, I'm going now to show you live the spirit of, the, this spirit from the scripture point and what's happening around the world. The Lord bless you, the Lord bless you, life and abundance over your life, life and abundance over your life, no sickness at the point of breakthrough. No death at the point of breakthrough in any area in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed and said hallelujah and hallelujah and good morning and good morning. Good morning. Go away for work. See you. The Lord bless 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 you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Bye. If I somebody who recorded the message, you can WhatsApp me. We can talk. The Lord bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Goodbye.
Yeah. 